I had a video for you. Um, some dummy, this guy here. Let me get over here where you can see me. This dummy here deleted the source files after I had it all edited. So I did this little bud vase with the pasta in it. Zach Higgins video. And it turned out okay, I guess. Um, I don't really like to finish. Uh, I use products that were probably not designed for it. And I should have either went with a, a spray lacquer or a maybe CA finish on it. Um, I might try it again with something else, like another idea. Not using the pasta. You can't really see the pasta in there. Probably based on my colors. But I was trying to recreate that flame look or happy mistake that I had in the flame bowl. It was kind of there. I should have probably done something a little different because I lost a lot of the, the yellow and I um, parted it off. Anyways, that's what that was. Um, I didn't expect any of my videos to uh, be a global pandemic as I see it. <laughs> It only took one YouTube user, and it's just crazy. Um, I appreciate all the support and nice comments. I don't really care for the nasty comments. Um, I remember somebody else's child might be reading those, so and it's not really anything. Here you go. All right, keep the comments to yourself. Um, other people's children don't need to be reading that. I swear as bad as everybody else does. It's really hard for me not to swear right here. Every other word's, you know, curse word. Um, I had some questions. I'm not sure. I think I'm going to probably show everybody because I don't save the footage. It takes up too much space. Um, that's how I lost this. I deleted the source file before I actually did the video because I was tired and I was going to Look for some music that ain't so annoying for y'all. Although y'all have a mute button and a volume button. Um, but I'm trying to appease the masses here. So uh, I didn't expect any of this. Uh, family and friends is what I intended for this. It's great. I mean, <laughs> it's really weird how fast it, it, it covered the planet. It's like... I don't know, it's uh, 150,000 views or something like that right now. It's just, just crazy. <laughs> you know, um, I do have this. Uh, it, this was actually kind of a failure on my part. I went too thin with it. This is supposed to have a finial. I didn't intend for it to look like an oriental building, but it kind of does. Those comments were in there. Um, had some nice comments. Had some comments made me giggle been babysitting it for two days, deleting the nasty ones so somebody else's children don't have to read it. I've had some questions on this one. I didn't actually do a video on this. I intended to and then I thought, I got two. I you know, don't want to do them twice. Um, they are deer antlers in here. I ordered a box of 100 from a place called uh, Big Buck Organics out of San Angelo, Texas. Uh, they're on Etsy. They weren't that expensive. Um, you know, I guess if you want to say that. But some of them, they're obviously sheds. It's either a deer farm or, or something like that. But these have, I don't know if you can see it, these ones have seen some sunlight. So um, I tend to like the, the gnarly ones. Tended to do ink pens with them, and I didn't really get that many that were nice enough for me to use. I got a few, don't get me wrong. I ordered some that weren't early, but then they're too short for anything. This ink pen was my favorite. Uh, if you can see that, that's the marrow down the center of the bone. This was the end of after I made another pen, and then I had to cut that off. And this is what I ended up with. And this is my favorite pen by far I've turned. I really like turning the pens. Um, I kept this one. 
I turned another one for my daughter. I think that video is on here. That was out of this same piece of antler I got from a pet supply place. It's a dog chew. It was <laughs> relatively expensive for one antler, but I turned three pens out of it. Um, all of which look great. This one is, you know, like I said, by far my favorite pen. I really enjoy turning the pens in a short amount of time. You have a finished product and it's very satisfying to have that. So, uh, a lot of other things, people ask what resin I'm using. I'm cheap and I don't want to really waste money on expensive stuff. So I'm using stuff called uh, Glaze Coat. I actually purchased this at one of the home centers here. Um, the blue one, I don't know if I can actually say the name. We all know what the blue one is. Uh, and then I found it on Amazon, actually, for like $10 less. So, with Prime. So it saves me an hour of driving to go get it, plus the fuel, plus 10 bucks. You just have to wait a day or two for it. Um, for the pine cone pot, it's just uh, a casting resin opaque pigment and then uh, these are I think they're Ranger alcohol inks and like Jim Holtz I think maybe I think and then uh, you know, then there's a blue these are just the colors I picked and I actually was watching Zach Higgins again and he was doing ink pens with the pine cones and the opaque colors and mixing them. And that's where that idea came up for me. Um, adding the light, this light, um, these are also on Amazon. There's like a dollar a piece or ten dollars, ten dollars or nine something for ten. Um, this was Nick Zametti at NZ, NZ, as they say it, wood turning. Um, he put this in a Christmas ornament or something he did which I fully intended to do that. I bought the garland and it went here because, you know, that's just how it happened. But that's where that idea came from. Um, Next cost me a lot of money, by the way. And I'll have a new lathe and a lot of tools that I didn't have before. Um, I bought his tools. I actually like these, they're longer. Um, they're pretty sturdy. Uh, I had bought in the Easy Wood carbide cutters, and I bought the MIDI ones, the ones in the middle, and they're a little short. I wish I would have bought the longer ones. But the price difference was my clincher, and then even though these weren't really that expensive, they were cheaper with the international flat across the pond fee that's relatively $45, $50 for anything you order. I ordered, uh, I ordered one of his mugs too, not that I drank that much coffee, but I got one of his mugs because uh, he was the first uh, YouTube channel that I subscribed to ever. Uh, it was my inspiration to doing this. I think his first video was, uh, that I seen was one of the He's doing a pine cone, not a pine cone, but a dandelion pot. It was absolutely funny. So I went back and started binge watching basically because it's winter and I didn't have anything better to do. Binge watching from the beginning of his videos. And he obviously had some training or he'd been schooled a little bit. He was still learning. And he stuck with it and did it. If it was good or bad, he did it. I figured I could do that, you know. So I, I watched him and progressed with him basically. And, decided to come out here and do this um, because we're all guilty of we're, we're all guilty of this all day long everybody you see it everywhere everybody's doing that and I needed to get away from that because it's it, it, if you take this away nobody will know what to do they'll know how to use their hands so that's what I did um, although I do drink coffee I don't drink that much coffee and I don't tend to use these cups so that is only fitting for Nick. Thanks buddy. And I watch a lot of Zach Higgins videos. He uh, he explains a lot about the resin and how it works and what to do with it so I watched a lot of that. 
What else? Um, I really like my new lathe. Two things I don't care for it. I had to buy a tool to line up the positive stop for centers. It doesn't positively stop on center, so you need a tool to put the tailstock in and headstock to line it up before you tighten it down. The other thing is, is they need to put some kind of bezel on the the button controls because they're sticky or whatever they put on it. Adhesive isn't staying stuck, and now the the shavings are kind of sliding down and interfere with pushing on the buttons. I mean, those are the only things I don't like. And there's some powder coat on the tool rest that I'm probably going to sand off because it get hung up on me. But that might be me. Um, it, if y'all want me to redo one of these um, and do a little more explaining about what I'm doing, it's not, it's not rocket science. I mean, I went, I watched other people. I understand that I didn't do it. I didn't fully intend to be talking in my videos. Andy Phillips' videos are great. Zombie wood turner, they're great. They don't talk. I'm all right with that. I can I can learn by watching what they're doing. Um, I love zombie wood turners. Something comes off his lathe at least once in a video, although it didn't this week. But I love his videos. I mean, I, I have some other projects. Um, these are also pine cone pots. This one here has come off that lathe three times. Um, it's cracked now, which I'm going to have to turn that off and recut it. And I think it's probably because I put the end grain the wrong direction. So it was just ripping the end grain right off of it. So I'm not sure what to do with these. Um, if you all want to see these, I, I, I wasn't intending to videoing them because I already done it. And what else? I have a... I have ink pens that I've done. I didn't do ink pens. Um, there's a lot of ink pen turners out there and videos. Um, I learned from actually uh, Bob at RJB Wood Turner. His videos are informative if you want to learn how to do this. Um, but I took in, uh, I don't know if you can see that, it is uh, red, white, and blue garland and stuffed it down in resin. I did this one in gold because I didn't paint the tube, so you can kind of see the tube in it. Um, this is what you end up with before you cut down the blanks. It is horrible to turn. It comes apart. There's so much packed in there that it's not really adhered together. I had seven blanks, and I ended up with three pens. Uh, the reason I did the pens is the car club has been invited to, the, to a parade. Uh, the Vietnam Wall is here in Michigan this weekend coming up, uh, the, the touring wall. And they want us to come and uh, give a vet a ride, which we all need to support our vets, no matter what country you're in. You all have vets. And so that's what I was going to do. We, we've only got three cars going for whatever reason. Keep in mind that in the car club, a lot of these people are 20, 30 years older than I am. And they're real finicky on touching their cars. You know, they got 80, uh, 89, 90 year old cars. R roughly. I'm, I'm just guesstimating. So, what my plan is is to each one of the drivers from our club, I'm going to give them a pen, and we're supposed to give the vet a ride in the parade. And so, I'm going to give them a pen that they can hand to the, the vet and, and tell them thanks for their service. And that was to cover that. Um, I've already wasted 15 minutes, so it's really weird how fast this goes. I've got some other projects lined up. Um, I, I'm really kind of at a loss to top this thing. Uh, the views are just crazy, and how do I top that? I hadn't, I didn't expect this. I have to thank Pam Harris at Highland Boxes. Got, I got my work cut out for me because of you <laughs> but uh, thank you um, I did not expect any of this uh, I'm not sure where to go with this I, I'm trying my best I mean these are just goofy ideas I come up with I got a few more I got another one that I'm not quite positive how to do it's a multi-access I've seen a couple things on 
what it is I want to want to do, but nothing directly pertaining to what I want to do. Um, one was a, a, a lidded box, but it's in a sphere, so no matter how you turn it on that axis, you can hollow it out. I don't know if I can do that on a bowl, so I'm going to have to put some scrap wood or something together and, and try it at that point. I've got some other things going. Um, somebody made a comment about putting wood in the middle of this thing. That, that real artists waste the waste the resin. Uh, that made me giggle. I absolutely love that comment. Um, I don't like to waste the resin. I'm cheap. Uh, this is look, look candy molds. Put all the extra resin in it. If I got to color it, these are gummy bears. Um, I dump it into this. We'll turn this later after we cut it. Well, or I'll cut it into pen blanks and then drop the pieces back in here and fill it back up again. I don't like to waste it. Uh, you know, it's expensive and to throw that much of it on the floor, if you think about it. If you, if you take, this is four foot long and I think it's two inches. Yeah, it's two by four. So if you, if you, you could probably fill a gallon's worth of resin up in that, probably. And, you know, there goes 70 bucks out the window. That's what I know, that's what the price of this stuff is. So, yeah, I'm cheap. I don't want to throw it on the floor. I want as much as possible. But, anyways, um, I'm going to try to get this, not this one, but uh, I'm going to try to do another one. Uh, it's my fault. I lost the video. And, sorry. But I'm gonna try. I got another idea for this. Um, I I just did the noodles because that's what he did. So everything's backwards over there. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Uh, I'll put links for the resin on Amazon. I'll put links for Zach's channel, Nick's channel, Pam's channel. I watched other people um, to learn how to how to do all this. I've only been turning since February of this year. The issue is you gotta get out and do it. Uh, I'm still struggling with the traditional tools. I've absolutely mutilated my traditional tools trying to sharpen them. So I'm gonna continue to mutilate them until I get it down before I go and spend that kind of money on new tools. Uh, and I've destroyed my wheels on my grinder. Um, I wanna go with CBMs, but let, let me get done screwing things up and figuring it out before we go that route, because that's all expensive. Uh, what else? Anything else other than that? Um, I, I am watching a young lady. I'm following her. Uh, she's actually in the UK. I think they call, uh, I'm not sure if it's Caitlin or Catlin, the cat. Um, young girl. Um, she's working with her hands. And, which is great. I'm going to support that because, you know, as far as I know, she's doing something with her hands on a lathe and not doing this. This this thing's an epidemic so um, if you all want to run over and support her uh, she's doing really good work um, I like it I enjoy it I enjoy the fact that young people are getting into this so I'm gonna put a, a link down there for her also and hopefully y'all go over and give her some support she's doing really good she's kind of quiet but that's okay she's working with her hands she's doing something being creative that's what it's all about and as far as ideas um, it, it, it's just you got to try it I don't if it works it works if it don't work it don't work I'll try to show it even if it don't work I've got a couple over there that didn't actually only got one the other ones right here I'm not done with it yet so um, other than that thanks for watching have a nice day uh, please keep the nasty comments to yourself it's not necessary um, I knew I was going to take a beating on my fingernails I use them for a tool um, I don't know if any of you know what a twitch is it's horse related uh, when you have a horse that's not interested in standing around for what you want to be attending to on her like say the farrier the guys trimming her nails um, a twitch is pretty aggressive if you ever seen how one's used and then you have to go look for it 
and you have to have it. They see it coming, and really, that end of the same area as the twitch, I can control the pressure of it, and you know, a horse gives to pressure, so when she relaxes, I can relax. She being the key word there, it's a mare. I've got one six years, will not stand for a tremor. So, uh, normally I would have left him. I'm just that kind of person. You don't like it, I'll leave it. But I didn't really care for the, the comments based on somebody else's children may see that. Because I know children watch these videos. And like I said, if it wasn't for that, I wouldn't even bother. So, um, I don't know what else to say. Thanks for watching again. Um, I'll try to come up with something. If you all want me to redo this one with a little more explanation because I do not have the footage for it anymore, I will do that. Um, I really kind of didn't want to redo projects. I will redo the flaming bowl also to explain that a little better. Um, my mad reasoning, which really wasn't one. I just don't know what I'm doing. I was just doing. And that's what I ended up with, a happy mistake. In the middle of it, I ended up with I looked and I thought, hey, you know them big terracotta plants that got like the in them planters? You know, usually they're outside of a building or something. So I kind of went with that look, gave it that bowl look on the bottom and then jumped down with a foot. That was totally in the middle of turning it. That's what spoke to me. Um, thanks for watching. We'll see you next week, hopefully with another one of these. Hopefully. Um, I should. I'll do another one of these. And like I said, let me know on this. The video is a bit long, so I'm sorry for that. Thanks for watching.